Hey, hi everybody, Kurt Quinnell back on Lake of the Woods. Yep, I'm uh, back in the Silver Bullet. Something I've been going to do for uh, at least a couple of weeks now that I haven't. <laughs> and that's move around a little bit more. North Country Outdoors Radio. So the weather turned nice again, so I'm uh, I'm still fishing Long Point area, and I'm not leaving you, out of here. I'm not going to travel a lot of far with my skid houses. But uh, I moved uh, yesterday, and I'm out deep. I'm in 34 feet of water now, 34, 35 feet, and uh, that's pretty deep. I've been trying to stay around that 28 to 30 foot most of the winter, but I came out here yesterday and uh, fished in the afternoon, and fishing was about the same. I caught uh, 15 fish yesterday afternoon from uh, what I got out here. About uh, noon, 1 o'clock, I suppose I got water, lines in the water. I fished till 3.30, and I caught 15. Two of them would have kept. Now, that's my normal day out here. Fish for two and a half, three hours, all right? Catch a bunch of little ones and a couple that I can keep and bring home. So, moved. I moved um, a mile from where I was. It turned out that I probably could have stayed right where I was. I'm on some fresh water, though, and that's, that's good for my soul, if nothing else, to get out just to see what else is going on other than what you hear. So I'm going to fish here this morning. It's, it, I had lines in the water just after 7.30. And, man, it's pretty daylight at 6.30. So I could have been out here a lot earlier if I could have got going in time. So we're going to set up this morning and fish here and see what's going on. We're into uh, early March. This is March 4th, I think, today. Saturday, which we're heading for a busy weekend. And we'll talk about conditions here as we go. But I'm set up, lines the water, ready to go. Let's see how this Saturday morning is going to work out. Well, as far as conditions go, they it really couldn't be any better. There is uh, We've had uh, one crack out here all winter. That was earlier. Everything's healed up. Everything's nice. Uh, there's not much snow cover left off the road. So uh, the wheelhouses are coming out on the Long Point Road and anywhere they want. They're just busting over the side and, and heading cross country. So there are wheelhouses spread out everywhere. And spread out is kind of a, a good word. Um, unless there's buddies fishing together, that's where the that's where the packs of houses are. But uh, I'm seeing people hundreds of yards off of the Long Point Road in the wheelhouse. I, I can't promise you how fishing's going to be. Uh, fishing is, is uh, tentative. Uh, some days a little better than others. Some days a little worse than others. But uh, in the course of a morning... You should catch a bunch of little ones and a, and a couple to keep. I'd say on a really good day, heck, you may catch four. On a, on a tougher day, you may catch one. But that's just, you know, a couple, three hours. All day, if you fish all day, the fish are more than likely going to bite in there somewhere. All right? You just, uh, my problem was for a couple of weeks is the fish were biting from 4 o'clock in the afternoon until 5. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm hardly ever out here from 4 to 5. I'm a, I'm a morning kind of fisherman. That's when fish should bite, doggone it. And we're here today to give them that opportunity. Here's the fish, first one I've seen. And I got him. Well, that's pretty good success uh, ratio there, huh? It's 822. And I was fishing lines in the water by 730. This isn't a, a whopper, but it's not such a bad fish. Heck. You're a sturdy uh, looking fish. I'm gonna measure this one. I might keep some today. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's a 14 inch soccer. I'm gonna keep this one. I brought a knife. Here we go. So, there. Saw one fish, caught one fish. Yeah, that fish just uh, suddenly appeared. Good. All right. Back in my silver bullet, but uh, bringing the Mega Live out. <laughs> oh, we got the uh, transducer back in that corner. Uh, the unit sitting on the, on the helix, sitting on top of the bucket. And here's my two holes. All right. So that's so. If I had another guy in here with me, <laughs> what would what would we do? Here's my second fish that I've seen now. Coming up. It uh, seems like it's a pretty small fish, but it's followed me up uh, seven or eight feet now. 
And off he goes. Okay, good. Well, that fish turned around and came back. I got him here. How about that? So now I've seen two fish. Kind of hope this one gets off. I'm going to... He's not getting off. The tiny, I just went for the one bait. Well, it's a little walleye. He was a scrapper. He went for the one bait, left, and turned around and came right back for the other one. Look at this little guy's been chopped on. Can you see it on that side? Right there. And on the other side, too. He got away once. Off he goes. Don't know if I told you this before, but I uh, got a couple of these inline reels. You see a lot of people using them for ice fishing, and I thought, well, maybe I'll maybe I'll love them. I got one with the, <clears throat> the crank on the for the right hand, another with the crank on the other hand, because you know the rod that I fish with my right hand, I have the crank on the left side. And, vice versa the other way. So I'll do that and I've been using them pretty much exclusively for a week. And I'm not sure that I love them yet and I'm not sure that I hate them yet. A couple of things that I don't particularly like is they'll backlash just like a bait caster reel. Let the line out by pulling this flipper up. That lets line out when you're done you let go of that and it stops. Simple as that. It's very nice. Easy to use that way. But it really free falls. So if that spool gets turning faster than the line's going out, well, if you've used a bait caster, you, you know what's going to happen. And it does. So what I do is I uh, hold the flipper open and I just kind of keep a finger on the spool so it doesn't go too fast, all right? And that, it's, it, was a, it was an operator air deal. One of these things where you've got to get used to it. And the other thing... And it's just a thing, it's not good or bad. The uh, retrieve ratio is way smaller or lower. You know, if, if my uh, spinning reels, if I got to crank 20 times to get it up, I've got to crank 40 times to get this one up. So it's much uh, smaller or larger uh, retrieve ratio on it. So it seems like you're cranking like crazy forever to get up. And in fact, when I had the drags uh, loosened up a little bit, uh, it was I was losing fish after fish because I, I couldn't keep the line tight, but Give me a week with anything and it's been a couple of weeks now I've got the, the drags up where I want them and I uh, haven't had a backlash for a few days, which is good and uh, Overall, I guess I like them uh, All right, so I'm trying to eat sandwich and I'm on the phone and uh, there's a fish down there So I don't turn on the camera. I say, oh, it's gonna be a little one. So I uh Got up to the fish and it turns out it's a pretty nice one. So I quit reeling long enough to reach over to turn the camera on and of course he got off. So now there, that, it's 1121. And that was a, that was not a whopper, but I'm sure that would have been a keeper. God dang it. Trying to, oh, come on, no, don't go away. Come back, here we go. Coming up, coming up, here we go. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Well. I thought this was going to be nicer. <laughs> I'm cranking like 60 and the line doesn't come up. Oh yeah. Here's another keeper sauger. I've caught eight fish and I've kept uh, three of them. This is absolutely a 14 incher. And it's a uh, heck, heck it's a uh, 15 and 3 quarter incher. <laughs> wow, uh, 1247, I just think I've been here five hours. Been sitting in here, I caught my first keeper in the first, heck, half hour or so, and then since then, had uh, times of not a lot going on. But heck, I've got some nice fish going in here now. This is the nicest fish here, come on. There we go, there we go. Hmm. This one might keep. Give me a good pull now. Correct, if I keep four out of ten. 
Oh, this is why. <laughs> Another two of the. <laughs> nice big fat tulipies this year. Got a treble hook and all three hooks are in his mouth. I'm keeping this one because my buddy Mark wanted some tulipies this year. So it's his year to try to do something with them. So I'll just get this out of here. How about that, huh? And here I had one fish at noon. And heck, these are all nice. There isn't anything under 14 inches here at all. So, uh, it's a new spot. I moved around and and if I had just come out here and fished the morning and gone in 11.30, I'd have had one. <laughs> so, you uh, get to a new spot, you got to give it a shot. I'm lucky enough, I can give it a couple of days. I'm going to come back out here tomorrow. But this is sweet. I've got the fish fry here. I had some good information on this new spot and a week worth of glorious weather ahead. I'm Lake of the Woods with a big smile on my face. I'm Kurt Quinnell. We'll see you out here somewhere soon on the ice.